Yeah, good day. This is Chibuzo Agwan. You're welcome to Blogging for Tech channel once again. Um, have you ever found yourself in a situation whereby after you selling a product to your clients or maybe rendering the services to your clients and he wishes that um, you should send him or her a PayPal invoice before he can carry out the payment? Well, I find myself in such a situation so many times. So that's the more reason why I said let me put this video up for as many of us that are passing through the same experience well in this video i will simply be showing you how you can easily create a paypal invoice and send to your respective client so let's get started you are welcome to blog infotech youtube channel so welcome back guys um in case you're new to this channel um like i said from the beginning chibuzago remains my name and blogging for tech is the channel well in this very channel we try as much as possible to dish out tutorials from the technology walls like i will normally say is a do-it-yourself do it channel whereby we teach tutorials on how you can easily carry out some function all by yourself even if you are not tech savvy so if you're already um a member you already know what to do so i wouldn't want to talk or waste much of your time so if you're a visitor i'd like you to hit the subscribe button by hitting the bell, red button below and also the bell notification so that you get notified whenever i release a video just like this and automatically you've become a family so without wasting much of your time let's get down to business like i said i'll be showing you how to easily create a paypal invoice and send to your clients so that they can carry out your respective payments so this is my paypal and dashboard i've logged into my account already in case you don't have a paypal account i'll advise you to go ahead and open one because that's one of the major means of payment alternative you find out there and most clients normally request that you should have a paypal account before they can pay you for your goods or service so this is my paypal dashboard i've already logged in into it so what you do next the first thing you will do is um you can follow through many process you can follow through send and request but in order not to waste much of your time you just click on more send requests you click on more a drop down menu will appear so from the drop down menu you now locate create an invoice as you can see there are very nav uh, so many navigations that will take you to somewhere else but you just click on create an invoice and automatically it will take you to the invoice page um, yes that's the invoice page so from here let me teach you how you can fill out some information and i'll carry out a practical yes let me just like for example okay let me send to let me just say she was uh, from them um, the first field okay let me like take it gradually so that you easily understand what i'm talking about so the first field is the email address of the person that he wants to send the invoice to so randomly for this um very video let me just do a random email so let me just send to chibuzo at gmail.com normally it can be any email address but i'm using gmail as this instance so at the top here you see the quantity you see the quantity hours and the amounts only so let's leave at quantity and here you can see that you can easily change the currency it depends on the currency that your client said that you should build him or her with so um on default this uh, is on um, great british pound which is um, pound selling actually so you can easily choose any currency you wish there are many you have your euros you have your australian dollar you have your usd as well so most people use this usd so for this video let me just like use the united united states dollars which is usd so the first field you create you type the email address of the person you're sending this invoice to if he or she wishes that you use a cc that is copying someone else you can use this additional recipient um, option you click on it now let me just say our this is just a test email actually so they are non-functional i'm just using it for the purpose of this video so now you can see in this portion the item name let's just say um what will i use what will i use, what will I use? okay let me just say sponsored post because that's much of what i normally do i be clients on the sponsored post quantity one then the price you can choose 50 you can choose it depends on the the negotiation you have with your clients as in the amounts that he or she wants to pay so let's use um let me use a hundred dollars as for this video this instance and tax if you want to use tax include tax no tax 
then in the description um, field you just like type okay let's just say this is an invoice for the payment of um, the sponsored sponsored post I published on my blog so that is that that's a description then coming down okay this is an additional anthem it is not really necessary so if you offer more than one services for the person you can actually like let me just say for an instance um you can say maybe after um publishing a sponsored post for the person on your blog and maybe you'd like what we're like okay you write an article on behalf of the person now let me now say um, article writing that's the item name of the second article writing I made a mistake okay yes writing then quantity is also one and the price in this case let's just say it's $50 then there's no tax also this description um, um, field is actually optional if you want to fill it fine but if you don't want to it's not really necessary but for the purpose of this video let's just fill it out so let's say this um, payment for it's a payment for the article I wrote so that is that you can see that I'm billing this um this client on behalf of two services I render to him the first one is sponsored post then the second one is article writing and you see that um, I charged him um, hundred dollars for the sponsored post then for the article writing is fifty dollars so let us see other fields that are necessary for you to fill then message to customer is also optional but in this case of this video let me just feel so you just like say um, good day good day sir good day sir this is an invoice you requested in order to carry out my payment so that is that so that is okay then all more options is not really necessary if you want to include other things but for the purpose of this video let us leave it blank if you want to attach files you can attach files uh, maybe for the proof for the person to see actually yes that you have carried out the the services so you can see that in total we are charging the person the 150 dollars as it appears here so once you're done with um, your invoice creation that's a paypal invoice creation the next thing you would like to do before you send it to the person actually is to preview as you can see but if you want to like maybe save it as draft you have the option of saving a draft then preview but if you want to send automatically if you feel that all the information you enter is correct you can easily hit send from here but let's preview as in this case for you to visualize how your invoice will look like so you can see is an invoice from god's power agora god's power like i told you in my last video is my english name so that's the one i use in this very paper so it's an invoice coming from me and the total billing is 150 dollars the 100 dollars is for the sponsored post while the 50 dollars is for the article writing so it gives a sum of 150 dollars so immediately so these are other informations that you added or i added in the description for the clients to view before he or she will actually carry out the payment so once you're done and you've noticed in the preview that all the informations you entered are correct so you can easily hit the send send button you can easily hit the send button from this portion so as you already know like i told you from uh from the start that the email i entered or the billers email is actually a random email that is non-existent so if i should click on send it wouldn't actually go so the, i'm just using it as a purpose of teaching how you can carry it out so once you show that you've entered the right email of the client you can easily hit the send button and he or she will automatically receive the receive the the invoice and carry it out the payment so you can see how easy it is for you to create a paypal invoice and send to your client in order for him to there's also other options at this portion for example if you want the person to carry a partial payment you can take partial payment and maybe for example as we have a total of 150 dollars and you wish that the person can pay a hundred dollars you can include hundred dollars 
So it means that the person can pay $100 and later pay $50. But I'll advise you. But it all depends on the negotiation you have with your client. Never to use this option. Let the person pay in full to you. So that is how fast it can be. So if you want to give the person discount, maybe depends on your negotiation. You want to give the person a $2 discount, you can include it here. Then shipping address, you can also include that. So those are the additional information you can include before sending out your your so i give the person a two percent discount which is a minus three dollars which means instead of the person paying 150 dollars the person would actually pay 147 dollars you can see which is this so it all depends on the negotiation and the negotiation you have with your client before you create an invoice so you can see how easy it is or how easy i've been creating my paypal invoice and sending it to my respective clients so if you find this um, video educative or informative enough i like it before you leave to hit the thumbs up and also you can easily share this video like and also comment and see maybe after carrying out the following out the steps you actually did so i'd like to see your comments in the comment section of this video so with that we have actually come to the end of this video and hey i would like you to anticipate still my next video will be paper related i'll be showing you something different that clients also quest for so in order for you to get the gist of the next video i like you to hit the subscribe button yes so that you can easily be part of the family and also the bell notifications that i get notified whenever i release the next video which is still paper related so we'll see in my next video chibuzago remains my name and blogging for tech is the channel so bye bye for now